Good afternoon, Mrs. Smith. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How about yourself? I'm good, thank you. And what brings you in today? Um, I have pain in my chest and I'm finding it difficult to breathe. Okay, so <laughs> where exactly is the pain in your chest? Um, about you just point to it? About here. Okay, and when did this pain start? Two days ago. Okay. Um, was it just a sudden pain? No, it's just sudden. Okay, and is this constant pain? Yeah. Okay, what does the pain feel like? It's tight pain. Okay. Uh, so is it like a sharp pain, a burning pain? Does it feel like it's stabbing? No. Okay. But when I breathe in, I just get this sharp, sudden pain. Okay. Which is worse than the... Yeah, and does the pain go anywhere else? Do you feel it in your, like, say, for example, your left arm? Do you feel it in your stomach? Anywhere? No. Nowhere? No. Okay, and do you have any other symptoms, any signs, like a headache, vomiting, fever? No. Okay. Um, have you tried anything to make it better, since you say you've had it since two days, so? I've had paracetamol. Okay, and did that help? Not really. Not even a little bit? No. Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, 1 being um, not so bad and 10 being really severe, how would you rate the pain? Mm, about 8. About 8, okay. Do you have any other medical conditions? No. Nothing at all? No. Are you on any medications right now? No. Anything over the counter? No. Um, any herbal medication? No. Okay. Do you have any allergies? Yes. Um, what's the allergy to? Penicillin. Okay. Okay, I can see that on the system, okay? Um, is it okay if I ask about your family? Yeah, it's fine. Do you have any conditions in your family? Like, does anyone in your family have, say for example, some cardiac history, a heart attack? No. Diabetes? No. Anything? No. Okay, that's good. Um, do you smoke? Yeah. How often? Um, five, six a day. You smoke five, six cigarettes a day? Yeah. Okay. Do you drink alcohol? No. Okay, that's good. Um, do, you, do you use any illegal substances? No. Okay. And who do you live with? My husband. Okay. Is there anyone else who lives in your house? No. Okay, that's good. Okay, Mrs. Smith, um, do you work? And can I ask what do you do? I'm a, for the past 15 years I've been working as a construction worker. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Can you tell me uh, what you think is causing the problem? Like, do you have any ideas what it might be? Um, I did go to Africa two weeks ago. Okay. And I told my friends about this and they said maybe it's TB. Okay, hmm. Okay, that's good. Can I just clarify, you say you have chest pain for the past two days? Yeah. Um, you also have trouble breathing, is yeah. that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, and it's not spreading anywhere, and you've tried to relieve it by having some paracetamol, but it's not helping? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, so, um, and you say you smoke? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Well, we should send you out for an x-ray and once we see the results from this x-ray we'll be able to tell what is causing the chest pain. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Since um, you have chest pain which can be something severe, um, we need to do it right now. So is that okay? Do you have time for the chest x-ray to be done right now? Yeah. Okay, so um, if you go for your chest x-ray and come back and then we'll discuss the results. Is that okay, Mrs. Smith? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, Mrs. Smith. Um, I've had a look at your x-ray and with regards to the chest pain, everything seems to be normal. But um, when you pointed to the chest pain, you pointed more so here. So I'm assuming that you have indigestion. Uh, can I just ask, um, have you been releasing wind lately? Have you been belching? Things like that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Is that been more than usual? Yeah. Okay, so that's um, another symptom of indigestion, which is probably what is causing you the chest pain. So for that, you can take some over-the-counter uh, 
harvest gone already. If you just ask the pharmacist, he'll be able to guide you with that. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now, if you, um, I want you to see something um, that I found on your x-ray that I think you should be notified about. Would you like me to go ahead and tell you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so um, I'm going to have to show you the x-ray for you to actually visualize what is going on. Is that okay? Okay. Can you see here, there's like random white patches around inside the ribs? Yes. Okay, so if you look at the healthy one, can you see these? No. So this is something abnormal. Now, what this is, is these are pleural plaques. Have you heard of pleural plaques before? No. Okay, um, do you want me to explain to you what they are? Yes, please. Okay. So, um, I'll explain to you using a diagram. If you just have a look at this diagram for me. Normally, your lungs are covered by this fluid-filled cavity. So, it's basically, on your lungs, you have two layers. You have one that's surrounding the lungs, and then one that's just around it. But in between those two layers, you have a fluid that is known as your pleura. Can you see here the pleura surrounding the lungs? Yes. Okay, now if you look here, can you see it's thickened and it's hardened? Mm -hmm. So as opposed to this side where it's nice and smooth? Yeah. So that's what's happened is um, the fibres of the asbestos that you've been breathing in for the past 15 years, it's caused it to get stuck. So you breathe in through your mouth, it enters your lungs and it's caused it to get stuck within this cavity. Okay. And that's what's caused it to thicken and harden because it's just stuck there and that's why you can see on your chest x-ray. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Mrs. Smith, um, now that I've explained to you what pleural plaques are, do you have any questions? Yes. Okay. Um, do, I, do I have anything to worry about? Um, no, you don't have anything to worry about um, because the plaques are benign, meaning they're not cancerous and they cannot become cancerous. However, um, because you work in an asbestos environment, there are risks of other asbestos related diseases. But at the moment, because these are only plaques, you don't have anything to worry about. However, um, you mentioned you smoke, am I correct? So, the presence of these pleural plaques increases the risk of lung cancer. It would be really good if you could try and cut down on the smoking. Is that something you can consider? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Is that something you'll stick to? I'll try. Okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have any more questions? Um, with regards to... Uh, Mm -hmm. Can I carry on working? I mean, since it's what your profession is, I wouldn't say completely to stop, but I think it would be better and I would recommend you getting a different job where you can still be a construction worker and not work at sites where um, asbestos is related. So I suppose if you can tell your manager or your boss that um, you want to work in houses, that are more newer because the new houses don't have many asbestos material so if that helps then you can do that otherwise if you find another job then if that's easy for you to do if it's uh, convenient for you then go ahead with it okay but i suggest you don't because um, asbestos exposure can lead to other conditions as well not just pleural plaques is that everything mrs smith yes okay that's good uh so can i just confirm you came in today with chest pain. We have figured out that it is indigestion and you're going to take some over-the-counter medication for that. And that's, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now with regards to the pleural plaques, um, it's nothing to worry about. You have absolutely no need to stress over it. Um, but you do need to cut down on your smoking because it is a risk factor for lung cancer. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's It fine. was nice meeting you, Mrs. Smith. Same here. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.